Hey guys, it's good to see you today. I have been listening to you and I'm going to start off by doing a request that has been out there for so long. And now that I'm doing tutorials on this channel, um, I thought it would be best that I, I'd go ahead and start doing like um, not just favorites of the month but if I have something at the end of the week that I think is amazing I want to tell you about that and fails of the week so but right now everyone's asking me what eyeliners do you use what's in your rotation that sort of thing I have my favorites that I pick up all the time and then I have some honorable mentions and then I have some flops so let me go ahead and get started quickly um, the ones I constantly have in rotation are the Divine Line from Coastal Scents and let me just tell you quickly why I really love the use of liquid liner but I love the uh, the same look you can get with a gel liner depending upon which brush you use depending upon which brush you use and these are going to be some tutorials I'm going to have an eyeliner series coming up depending upon what shape brush you use you can get a sharp edge um, do you like your cat eye straight out like mine is today do you like a curved cat eye? Do you like a kitten eye? Do you like it to stop right here? I want to do all those things with you guys. And with this, I will tell you that back in the summer, I ordered, or late summer, early fall, I ordered some of the Lorac, and some people say Lorac. I don't know how she pronounces it because it's just Carol spelled backwards. But, so, look. Lorac. <laughs> My accent maybe doesn't sound right. But anyway, um, I returned them because I had one of these already and I now have them in brown, black, and navy. And I can tell you, I want to get the green one. The only reason I didn't pick up the green one yet, and I do regret that Michael Todd, he just, I can only find his skincare right now, but I do use his green still it is not dried up unlike another one I have here that is just awful I mean I liked it when it was like maybe the three weeks I had with it but these are I can't find a, I couldn't find a difference the packaging was the same the application was the same and I think today these are either $9.95, $6.95, or $4.95. They're always on sale. You just have to look. Sign up for their newsletters. Like right now, my favorite uh, contour, blush, and highlight um, um, palette from them is on sale $9.95 right now for the next 48 hours. It is usually $19.95. So I just sign up for their newsletters, and when something goes on sale, I run for it. So... These, I cannot, I see so many high-end dupes that look like this packaging, and I can't say it for everyone, but I can say for that one brand that I do not know the exact ingredients, but it felt exactly the same to me. So, gel liner to me is really important. Another gel liner I absolutely love are all Physicians Formula. The one I, ha I absolutely use, I've had this for so long, and this would not dry out if I begged it to. See that black with those gold sparkles in there? You don't have to spend a lot, you guys. You can wait till these go on sale. There's a purple in there. There's a gold in there. They have some that are specifically for certain eye colors. These will not dry out. Um, another one that I absolutely love is the, if we're on the liquid liner, if we're going to move on to a uh, liquid liner is the, I'm really liking the Glam Eyes, the Rimmel Glam Eyes. Now you have to be really careful because it doesn't have that felt tip. It's got the brush tip, but it does have a, like a semi-gloss finish. It is a brush tip like this. So you, you need to, like if you get to the edge, and I'll do videos with you guys if you want, where if... I'm going to do a curved tutorial and then a straight tutorial and some of the tools that I can use. And I use, especially if I'm on the job with someone, 
And my gosh, if they move like this and you're using a liquid liner, your whole look can be destroyed. So that's why even though with my eyes I might be steady because I can rest it, but if I'm doing my own and I want to make sure that just in case if I've done a really intricate look, you can really mess your whole eye look up. Um, and I like to go all the way in with it. So again, you just have to be really careful with these. So... I like the felt tip in this one, and this is from Coastal Scents. This one is in gray, which I actually like because I don't see a lot of gray, or I don't know the exact name of it, but it's in gray, or here we go, stone. And I think I have it, yes, I got it in green as well. And there, I got these because they're not liners that I see all the time, and I like these when say I have just one wash of eye color if I use my wet and wild like brulee or if I'm in my um, 252 ultimate palette and I just take one um, I'm gonna have a Nikki a new and updated Nikki, Nikki Minaj excuse the phone I'm gonna have an updated Nikki Minaj look coming up not everybody has to like Nicki Minaj, but I like her make under they've done for her. Okay, hopefully it won't ring again. I swear I've gone all day long without the phone ringing at all. This is not really a liner, but it's what I use a lot to go on the inner corner to get my highlight to stick. Or if I just want to put it here and brighten up the inner corner. It's very much like... Uh, the Benefit Eye Bright, except it's, this is a little more pink, but I feel like your skin tone pinkens it up. Anyway, so it's very much like that, and uh, I just have to give that props. Something that I have found that I absolutely love, 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 a retractable eyeliner, and I will always love Revlon Color Stay. When you don't have time to pull out that brush and you are in a rush to get out the door, a retractable eyeliner will do you good. Look, oh, I'm at the bottom of it, guys. I've gone through so many of these and they do not move and I can take them and these are if I'm in a rush like that I don't usually do a cat eye unless I have time to take uh, a brush like this and smudge it out quickly to get a little bit of a smoky on the outer edge but the one I'm using on my waterline right now it's from uh, Kativa or Kativa, Kativa Cosmetics I always pronounce it incorrectly. It is a waterproof mascara. And I love this because a lot of them I have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And if they'll stay, like I love Urban Decay for the waterline. Sometimes I don't use anything on my waterline because I have small eyes. But for tight lining, all I have to do is like this is what I have on today. And I just have to go one swipe here and then I go up and go under and it makes your top lashes look thicker and darker so if you like miss a spot in your lashes you can go back and just touch up right here right here it, this is amazing it is so it has such precision I don't know if let's see if you can tell the difference between like the size of this here we go and now keep in mind this one's not sharpened, but keep look at the difference in the precision of these two. Totally different precision. I really like the Urban Decay Glide on pencils, um, especially when they come in little kits like this, and you can get fun colors. I know I'm not I don't get the full size in these because I'm not going to use these all the time until they expire so I really like to get just like the the fun size when they have like friends and family or something like that but I do keep a full size of the black on hand and use as you can see I need to um, sharpen that ones that are very much like the Urban Decay 24 7 are the Milani liquify I only have this one in brown because I had so many black eyeliners at the time but I would love to get some more Milani I really like their line um, I need to mention one that's in my kit right now that I don't have out it is the Jordana from Walgreens 
If you look right above the sinful colors, all the way to the left, $1.99. It was in my last drugstore haul. I'll put a link um, somewhere here for my last drugstore haul. And I am all constantly using my uh, Palladio liners. These are also very much the same type where you have like 60 to 90 seconds to smudge these. As you can see, there are many colors. I reviewed these for a very long time in my videos. And again, I'm just being very patient. I'm, I'm told that I am hopefully going to get my videos back. So another one very much like this are the Pixie liners. These will, I like, I have one in purple as well. And um, another one I love that's more like a, a liquid felt tip is this is from Motives. And boy, you have such control. When you come out here on this edge, say you even you do your whole look with gel, look. And you have such control with this felt tip. So a great, a great pick. is a line I have depended on for years. If you guys have been with me for a few years, you guys know that the Dalton, um, I like the packaging on this because if I could open it, <laughs> you can see where there's a mirror and then you open it and it's got an extra little protection so it doesn't dry up. So, those are my picks that I absolutely love. Um, now, oh, I love Annabelle products. All Annabelle eyeliners. I can't get them here. Palladio has a great um, felt tip as well. I'm trying to hurry through these so you're not here, but you can really get some good control with the Palladio one. And... I just, I feel like I have to tell you, I, I really like, I liked the Wet n Wild. If, listen though, I mean, I had it maybe three weeks, look, oh, it's fall, oh, it, look, it's out now. Look how much I got to use of it, you guys, and that's it. So, and the new Fergie one is, I don't see any difference in that and this one, and then one that fades so fast is the Revlon Luxurious Color Eyeliner. I have it in burnished amber and it looks so pretty when you put it on to get like that bronze look under your eyes. It looks so pretty especially when you're doing a bronze look or you're doing a colorful look and then you just want to do a bronze eyeliner for a toned down effect. And then my other fail is the the MAC Penultimate. It draws out on me really fast you guys and the Jordana one is so much like that. It is ridiculous and that one's $1.99 and everybody knows how much these Penultimates are. I won't ever buy that again. But I just thought I would share this with you. I hope it helps. Um, I will be back with tutorials. I know my hair is like a little mess right now, but I got it cut. And I've just been playing with like different, like lay it down, do rocker looks with it, do different fun things with it. So it's kind of like sticking out everywhere um, because I've been playing with it so much today. And I wanted to wear something green and something pink because I am so cold and I'm so ready for spring. I'll talk to you guys later and thank you so much for watching. Bye.